All right, just so with the background you can see, I'm in a different location. Oh, fun. So nothing says make friends with the neighbors quite like bringing home something really big. All right, everybody should be at work, hopefully. Update. It's taken about a day and a half to get to this point. I got about another probably four or five hours, and I should be done. Thank God. TransLink is probably going to be pissed off just because they're TransLink and they're perpetually pissed off, so you can't please them any which way from Sunday. The detail work that I've gone through just to create a rough covering on this damn thing, if they don't like it, I will run them over and they can check the underside of the bus for sure. Anyway, so here's what we're looking at. Swing around. Look at all that front door has been done. You can see the slight discoloration. That's the new vinyl. Of course, new vinyl is far whiter than the old paint they had on there, so all the way down the side. This part wasn't too bad because it's all relatively just straight flat panels. The door there was easy because it's just tiny little strips. It was that front door and cutting around that angled pit and around the light and everything that just took forever. Now take a look here. If they really bitch and complain, I even went so far as to paint out the little lights. Just on their markings, the back lights were yellow and the front lights were blue. So the fact that I even took that time to paint out the lights, if they don't like it, they can go ride a bus somewhere. First phase was to paint the blackout in the windows. You can see now that they're done with the white. It's starting to look pretty sharp now. Imagine when that's all tinted out. Coloring on the bus, the logo is going to come way over the door. And then from the logo down, I'm going to do white perf. So it'll look a little more coach-like, suburban-like. Coming around to the back here, this is another tricky spot. Coming around the lights, you can see all the angles and curves that I gotta do. Let's zoom in here a bit. See how the light bumps out here and then it curves in there and then gotta cut around all the lights and everything. So that's gonna take a little time. I'm trying to get as much full pieces as I can first and then use the scrap little pieces to come in and do all that cutting in covered up their old stinky yield sticker and I put my fresh yield sticker on it's reflective as well last night when I parked it to get dinner where it was parked I could see the reflector and she looked really good actually so we come around now this is what took a lot of time yesterday too we're starting on this you can see the full panels that I'm putting up first that's what's left of the translink colors this here is all going to be smaller sheets, so I left that for later. This here I'm probably going to paint out just because it's part of the rad cover and it's going to be a lot easier. On this step here you can see how I spray painted the light out. And then again, little cuts. We'll fill that in. It's all wrinkly and everything. My, my concern was just getting it on and covering TransLink and then later on it's going to be painted. Around this air intake, their coloring, you can sort of see the faint line here. So all this was blue, the TransLink blue. I wasn't going to deal with it because you can see how far down the vinyl comes and you'd have to cut in all those slots. So I just spray painted that as well and bring the vinyl just over it like that. Again, you can see the windows have been blacked out on this side as well. From a distance, it really gives it a nice, sharp, clean look. And like I said, once the windows are tinted, then it'll really start to look like a coach. With a fresh white paint, you can kind of see with the vinyl what it'll look begin to look like as well. And then I may put simulator stainless steel rims on just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Coast Mountain has been covered over, and then I'm putting the vinyl right over that as well, again, just to try and hide it at all costs try and shut TransLink up. Temporarily I just put in my provincial license and my legals. I gotta take that off before I put the vinyl on. Down here is another access panel and those two little dots, that one there and that one there, those are keyholes. Same with the panel above it, that's the electrical panel. So there's a keyhole and there's a keyhole. So I got to punch those out, but on that little panel downstairs, I figured just spray paint it white. I got to do just another touch up coat to even it off a bit. And then coming around the front here, the only thing I've done was 